So now that we have iOS 26 beta 3 that just came out, we can kind of make some assumptions on what iOS 26 beta 4 could end up you know, looking like and when it could end up getting released. Now, number one, this update is probably going to be coming out, not this week, so the week of, you know, July 10th, you know, throughout the, the end of this week. It's probably not going to come out next week either. I think it's probably going to be released sometime around that July 21st time frame. Now, I really, really hope it gets out before that. You know, the earlier, the better. But knowing Apple, they might not end up doing something like that. They might not end up releasing it a little later. But if that ends up being the case, then, you know, we'll see where we're at. But I really think they're probably going to end up releasing it around July 21st for beta 4. Now, within beta 4, we don't really know for a fact what's going to be in this version of software. But if I had to kind of make an assumption, what I would kind of think is that this particular software update is probably going to bring one more addition or improvement to liquid glass. And what this is going to be, I think, is that it's going to be that new little toggle within iOS 26 that will allow us to change the transparency of liquid glass. I think if Apple doesn't do this and they just keep it the old way or the new way, both of those are just going to be flops and people are not going to like either one of those, if I'm being honest. I think Apple needs to give us the ability of changing out that transparency. And because of their flip-flopping that they've done within this version of software, I do think because of the you know backlash and the feedback they've gotten, I actually think there's a very high chance Apple is probably going to go through. And they are probably going to give us that little toggle within iOS 26 settings that allows us to change that transparency for the liquid glass. I think that right there is going to be a very, very big thing. I'm pretty sure that's going to be something Apple's going to throw in here. Now, I also think that for the most part, if you're going to go through an upgrade, obviously there's going to be some bug fixes. There's going to be a lot of improvements across the board that way. So I really love seeing those things. But it is going to be very interesting to see what this update brings because they really have to focus in on the stability side. And I'm curious to see if they end up fixing these problems. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.